I love being your pastor. But I want to tell you something. We're, we're making a turning point in our church right now. We're, 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 we're turning up the heat. We're, 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 we're putting the, the knob from low and simmer. See, some of you have been simmering for 55 years, and, 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 and you've been simmered. <laughs> and we're taking the simmer, and we're turning it on to full-blown hot. <laughs> we're going to put it on hot. <laughs> we're going to see the red light come on. We're going to see the red glow of the, of the burner come on. We're going to see that baby cooking. We're going to cook some stuff in here. We're going to, see, I, see, see, I don't want you to be simmered. I don't want you to go out and just say, we got simmered today. I want you to go out and go, what happened? I got stung today. I, I sit down on the burner and I got, I got hot today. There was some, I got plugged in today. I got transformed today. I got, I was doing something I shouldn't be doing. Oh, but the Holy Spirit got me today. And, well, well, oh, it got me. And then something changed in me. Some of you today that think you're a Christian and you don't have the Spirit because you don't have any power. Can I say this to you? Will you just put down your Baptist hymn book and your Baptist theology book and pick up the book of the life that says you got to have the Spirit to have Jesus. And if you don't have the Spirit, you ain't got Jesus. And if you've got the Spirit, you're going to have power along with presence.